Welcome back to the channel. Let's explore together. Today we're checking out Anthony Vincent Psychosocial in the style of Linkin Park. This was requested by you guys. Uh, if you want me to react to stuff I may or may not otherwise react to, you can check the links in the description for ways to do so or just hang out with me on a live stream and have it done there. Uh, Psychosocial. The result. Hey! Psychosocial is a song that I am not familiar with very well. Um, it escapes me who it's by, even though very recently I was told who it's by because I'm terrible with names. It's either Slipknot or Nine Inch Nails or something. Uh, but, you know, it might be a song that I know better than I think because I'm terrible with names. Hence, I'm trying to remember who it's by because I don't do names very well. So it could be a song that I'm like, oh, I know that song and just don't know I know it. Or it could be a song that I have no idea what it is. But I but I know Anthony Vincent and I know Linkin Park, so I know two thirds of the references here. So if it's a song I don't know, it'll be interesting to see, you know, what I think of the song just from a fresh look. I'm just letting you know that as the background for, you know, from what place my commentary will be coming from. And with that disclaimer, let's go. Results for the Patreon exclusive 10 second songs poll are in. Coming in first place for the fan favorite of Psychosocial and 25 Styles, Linkin Park. Definitely sounds like a Linkin Park song. Hybrid theory era Linkin Park. Which is their first album, and many would contend their best album. It's very interesting to hear lyricism like this come out of a song that very much sounds like a Linkin Park song. Because <laughs> lyrically, this is not similar at all to the writing style of uh, Linkin Park. Um, so that that's throwing me for a loop since I don't have like I don't have a reference to the original song. This doesn't strike me as familiar, so I'm not like picturing the original song as I'm hearing this. I'm just hearing Linkin Park sing lyrics that Linkin Park would not have sung. Um, not saying that's bad. It's just like a little bit of uh, odd vibes. I'm like, whoa, that's that's strange. You know, uncanny valley sort of a thing. Go take your grave. Yeah, I mean, he's going very hybrid theory on this. Um, I guess you could also throw in Meteora. That was their second album that sounded pretty much like hybrid theory all over again. Um, and they've had this style sprinkled throughout, but it really fell off after Meteora. Meteora. You know, they did their Jay-Z collab. They did um, the hybrid theory remix. And then it was Minutes to Midnight. And it was a very big style change from then on. Um... In any case, this definitely is that early era Linkin Park vibe, and I, that's that's peak Linkin Park content. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. And I bring the <laughs> I mean, psychosocial just not something I imagine Linkin Park saying. Uh, it's like every time it starts to feel like it's in a theme and groove of uh, Linkin Park lyrically, it just jerks you back to the fact that this is a song by um, who is it? Slipknot, Nine Inch Nails. One of those. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Slipknot. Song by Slipknot, and I'm sticking to it. The comment section is going to roast me if I stuck to the wrong one, but I'm sticking to it, dang, dang it. <laughs> the of the 
Woo. That scream's so satisfying. That verse felt a lot closer to Lincoln Park. It felt a lot more natural. Um, cause I, cause one of the ways I'm I'm thinking about this song, if it's not obvious, I'm like, how does this work as an actual Lincoln Park song? Since that's the concept here. Obviously, he's doing a great job emulating Lincoln Park sound. It's more the juxtaposition of the lyrics by another band into a Lincoln Park style. It's curious to see in more than a 10 second little bite size you know i know he's been starting to do these but this is the first one of these that i've checked out that i can remember checking out that he does the entire song in one specific uh style like this and it's just very interesting to uh to see how that how that plays out and what like works super well and what parts give you that uncanny valley feeling of yeah this is definitely not a Linkin park song but why does it sound like one Nice Mike Shinoda that he does here. Let's get a thumbnail while we're thinking about it. Oh, look at that. He's perfectly positioned already. Oh, wait, he's wearing headphones, so we'll keep ours. I could hardly tell. His, his glorious locks were covering it up, so we got this, and then we're gonna go... And that's the thumbnail. Close enough, as we like to do around here. <laughs> I love that scream. It's so nice. Don't mind my lack of a scream just then. Oh. Mr. Han DJing style. Let's go. Classic Hybrid Theory Meteora Linkin Park era stuff right here. Just, yeah. Let Mr. Han take over. Leading to a dope break. I don't think I don't think the limits of the dead feels like a Lincoln Park lyric, but I, I'm gonna say that Lincoln Park got a little more aggressive, edgy for for one moment and made a friggin' banger of a breakdown. It's also a very long song for a Linkin Park song. Linkin Park songs are, they, they do what I like with songs. They make them concise, quick, let's go. My rule of thumb for a song is if you're going to be more than like four minutes, four, maybe four and a half, then you need to acknowledge that you do not deserve to be that long. And you have to prove your worth as to why you should be that long. And unfortunately... Genres of music that are the most guilty of not respecting their song lengths because they have an audience that will tolerate songs that are stupidly long for no reason uh, tend to be metal. Um, like more traditional metal, not new metal. New metal songs are usually pretty quick, which is the genre of Linkin Park. 
but uh, more traditional metal and heavy metal and stuff like that. They have like 17 guitar solos a song. You know, Tool is like every song's like 10 minutes. And they, they usually don't justify the runtime. Um, anyway, stepping on my soapbox. That also makes us feel less Linkin Parky is how long it is. That part's definitely the highlight. It just hit so well Linkin Park style-wise. There you go. I think that was more of a shout-out to Minutes of minutes to Midnight. That was the first time Chester did one of those super long screams that I can think of in, uh, what was it, Bleed It Out? Hey, everyone. No. If you liked Psycho was it Bleed It Out or? Yeah, Bleed It Bleed It Out or Given Up. What was the name of the song? Again, names are bad, but I can hear the moment. Put me out of my fucking misery for like 10 minutes. Social in the style of Linkin Park, then thank my Yeah, and then he says, I've given up. So give it up. Patrons for taking part in the 10 second songs exclusive Patreon poll. Shout out to the patrons. Become a patron of whoever your favorite content creators are. That is something that I, I firmly believe you should do. I don't have to be one of your favorite content creators. You know, uh, this, if you know me only through this, you only know me as Reactor. My other stuff's on a, def a different channel. So I'm not saying to join my Patreon. I'm saying to make sure, like, your top three to five creators, if you have any money at all, you should be on their Patreons. You have no idea how instrumental it is. Like, even at a dollar tier that most creators have. Yeah, please support your favorite content creators. And I, I'm not hypocritical in that. As someone who is a content creator is my main profession. Uh, I am subscribed to no less than three Patreons, uh, Patreon memberships of my favorite content creators. So, um, get on it, kids. Until we explore again. I'll see you next time.